Dollar Tree haul for you. I am going to be showing you some of the things that I picked up from Dollar Tree, I would say within the last couple of weeks. And so I found some really cool items, you guys. I found some books, I found some cool hair accessories. It's gonna be a really fun haul with some fun items that I did find and I wanted to share with you guys. So first of all, we are going to start with some books. Now these books that I pick up from the Dollar Tree, I will only pick them up if I think that they are, you know, worth it. If they could be like coffee table books or if I can add them into our book collection, my kids book collection. Um, so I really like to pick up, you know, um, chapter books or just really good books that you can find at um, like a bookstore or Barnes and Nobles or that kind of thing. So I did pick up some, a couple of books that I fell in love with when I first saw them. And first is this one called Elizabeth Webster and the Court of Uncommon Pleas. And this is a chapter book and it looks really interesting. Um, this looks like, you know, my daughter, she's going into fifth grade and it looks like she could read something like this. It is a pretty thick book. Um, but it says the ghost repeated herself three times after a startled moment. I realized what she was saying. Save me, save me, save me, save him, save me, save him. So it looks kind of like a mysterious um, book. And so she likes these kind of books. So I put that one up for her. The next book I found was really cool, and this is a huge book. It's pretty thick, um, and it is like, this one is, like it's a hard paperback book. Um, it's not flimsy, but it is like a cardboard. Um, and this one's called New York Lookbook, a gallery of street fashion. And this one has some really cool um, stuff in here. So it just is, a really cool book to be a coffee table book to read um, and apparently um, it says being featured in the New York magazine lookbook means you have conquered the Manhattan Matterhorn of personal style they have yet to feature me and I am outraged but still climbing so this is kind of like a book that would be like a coffee table book um, with some really cool um, illustrations and colors and prints. Um, so it is kind of like a fashion book. And then on the other side, um, you can read about the type of fashion um, that's in here. So I thought this was pretty cool. So I'll give you an example of one. Let's see. This one says, I hate that tattoo. I got it five years ago and it's way bigger than I wanted. I was like 20 years old and the tattoo artist was eight times bigger than me. I didn't want to be a pain in the ass. This one doesn't have any words. This one's like, what's this look? Where did you get this outfit? What do you do? What's your favorite ad? What's the last thing that moved you? How did you get into that? Describe your look. So it's just a really fun book, um, a really cool coffee table book, and I love it. And I'm glad that I found it at the Dollar Tree. And this book originally goes for $24.95, Canada $29.95. So this is a really good book that I found, and I thought it, thought it would be a perfect coffee table book. The next book I found is this one that says My Drunk Kitchen Holidays, How to Savor and Celebrate the Year which this one is a hardback book and it is very colorful and pretty. And um, basically it's going to just give you like an entertainment foods and um, stuff like that. So we can look through this together. So I did briefly look at it in the store and it has a bunch of fun, fun foods in here, treats, Valentine's Day. Um, this one says single awareness day, drink wine day, get over it day, um, pack your lunch day, I'm in control day. So it just really has 
um, vitamin deficiency, hydration, deeper sleep, caffeine. This is just a really good book to read. Um, you know, um, when you have a few minutes, just to sit down and read. This looks really interesting. And um, you can probably make some of these things that are in here. Ice cream day. And um, let's see what. So then this one says, um, consider buying fruits and or vegetables, decide against it and buy bagel bites instead. Consider buying frozen fruit and or vegetables. Realize this is a good investment because it can double as an ice pack. Credit yourself for being the genius you are. Get some green tea and drink one cup a day. Couldn't hurt. So it just has cute little sayings in here and cute little um, pictures of food and um, I haven't had a chance to really read it but it's pretty cool and I liked it so I picked it up to see what this is all about. Um, different ways on Thanksgiving to make mashed potato, garlic ass mashed potatoes it's called um, and it tells you the ingredients you need and how to make it step by step. So this is a really also a really good book to have. Um, and then I found this cool book and I actually got this for my cousin because she is expecting a baby boy and this one says, let's celebrate your story awaiting you. And it's kind of like just a little journal that you can write in um, if you know someone who's expecting or if you're expecting yourself, then this would be a really cool book to pick up. So it also has places where you can um, write in it, draw in it, color in it. This is my lullaby, not goodbye. Well, so you can write in it, it's just like a little pregnancy journal, which I thought was really cool. And so yeah, I got that one. The next book that I found is this one called Stone Fox Bride, Love Less and Wedding Planning for the Wild at Heart. Now I'm not um, getting married anytime soon, but I thought these cute little books would be good to save um, because I do have a 19 year old daughter. So hopefully one day she will be getting married and or, you know, down the road when she gets married, having children. So. I think that this would be an awesome book to save for her. Um, and it's just all about weddings, bridal looks, um, just beautiful um, flowers and arrangements. And um, I just love when I'm reading books to look at beautiful pictures as well. So I really adore these kind of books. And I thought this would be a good pickup for her. Um, this is a great book. This is a hardback book. And um, this one retailed in the US for $45, you guys. Canada, 60. So this is a really beautiful book. If you know someone who's getting married or if you're getting married yourself, this is a good pickup. Um, and I did find this at the Dollar Tree. Awesome, awesome book, you guys. The next little book that I found is this one called Chaser of the Light, Poems, um, poems from the Typewriter series. And again, this one is just, I loved it. Um, US 18, Canada 20, and the epic made simple, the miracle in the mundane. So this is just, really pretty it has really um, beautiful quotes in here um, and, you know the, I think these type of books will get you in a good mood if you're feeling down or you just need a little pick-me-up it says you have never had to steal my breath or take it away somehow you have always managed to convince me to hand it over freely <laughs> so this is really cool you guys um, I love finding little books like this um, and for a dollar twenty-five, these books are really awesome. This is what should I say when I want to kiss the side of your neck and leave it at that? When I want to feel the heart of my own breath bounce back and warm my lips after I strategically place them on my favorite piece of your skin, I want to leave goosebumps everywhere I have not yet kissed and spend the night trying to read them like Bray Lee. 
So this is a pretty cool book, you guys, and it just has beautiful quotes, pictures, and I love it. And this one is called Chaser of the Light, and this is a hardback book. Switching over to some fun stuff, you guys. Um, this is going to be a fun haul. So I got a bunch of fun stuff in this haul to share with you guys. I found this letter boards, notes, quotes for every day. And it's kind of just like a, I'll take it out for you guys. It's just like a flip, kind of like a flip book. And it says letter board notes. Excuse my nails, you guys. I have an appointment tomorrow to get them done. And so this one says, dream, believe, do, repeat. And home is where my heart is. Home is not a place, it's a feeling. So this would be really cute to, um, there's a place where you can bend it right here. So you can just bend it and sit it up at your desk um, or you know in your craft room, anything like that. So I thought that was really cool. Next thing I found is this shoe eraser. It says sneaker cleaner before and after. So it's supposed to be um, kind of like a magic eraser, but for your shoes and um, you just add water. So I saw this at the checkout line and it looked really interesting. So I thought I would give it a try and you never know, it could be a gem in disguise. So I picked it up to give it a go just to see if it works. Um, if it doesn't work, that's okay. If it does work, then that's awesome. I'll probably pick up some more. Um, but I do like to use baby wipes to clean my shoes, um, you know, just to wipe them down if they're dirty or anything like that, um, have dust on them, just to keep them really clean and to keep up with them. So I'll give this a try and see if it works. Next thing I found was this McCormick scissors. And these look like some pretty heavy duty scissors, you guys, and they're, they're pretty heavy and good quality and looks like they're well made. So you're, you're always needing a good pair of extra scissors around the house and we, you know, we need an air, another pair of extra scissors. You guys, I think these are to crack walnuts. I've heard that this little thing in the middle is to crack walnuts, but this looks like a pretty good pair of scissors so we're always needing you know an extra pair of scissors in the kitchen okay you guys i found these really cool scratch art um i got two of them and so this says that it's a scratch art 50 piece set and um i believe it comes with the little wooden stick here where you can just draw anything you want create a picture and it's supposed to be kind of like a rainbow um a rainbow effect so this is basically what it looks like inside it comes with a little wooden stick the papers are pretty hard they're kind of like thick thick pieces of paper so this is what they look like just used it to show you guys what it looks like and it's rainbow underneath so you can draw on it you can write on it write little messages and put them on the refrigerator or leave them around the house for your significant other. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I got these uh, little mini coloring books. Um, I got a couple of them. So I got a, the mandala and then I found this one that says it's a geometric one. And they're pretty small, you guys, and they're really pretty. And I also got the Bible word search has uh, it's just a word search and it has them on um, you know each side this one says Jesus heals and says Jesus heals the blind man Jesus light of the world and you just find the beautiful um, words in here and so this one said sacred savior son of God teacher wonderful worshiped mighty God our peace perfect so you just find these words and cross them out. And I love crossword puzzles, you guys. I'm going to be going on a trip um, this coming weekend to Disney World. So I wanted to find something small and something compact that I can fit into my book bag, to my carry-on, um, you know, so I can do these things while I'm on the plane. I have a eight hour flight. So I really want to be able to keep my mind busy and be able to do some fun things while I'm on the plane. So I found these three little 
looks here and like I said they're small I can fit them into my bag and that should be really fun also got this one that's the paisley um, coloring book and it just has all the pretty paisley prints on here the other ones that I showed you so I did get these three styles um, of the little small coloring books I also got this for my girls and this is temporary tattoos 25 piece made in the usa and um, this is just for the fourth of july they love you know tattoos um and so i thought i would get this for them and they can pick one and put one on for the fourth of july so that's fun so i found some really cool notebooks so i found this one that says be proud of your progress and then this one that says get it done um and then it says a notepad so let's open these up together and see what they look like inside. Guys, to my surprise, these are not blank on the inside. They, this is pretty cool. This one says, I'm doing great. Remember my Monday self, uh, my Friday self, today's mood. So this is really cool. Every page, every page on here is the same. So, you know, they're all pretty much the same paper um but i thought that was really cool that i didn't get just plain lined paper that it says something in there and then this one says um get it done Ooh, and then this one says goals weekly monthly savings career that's pretty cool you guys and again this one's all the papers and again, all the papers on here are the same. So I love these two notebooks. I will definitely put them to some use and write in them. So this would be really um, productive for me to keep track of things that I need to get done. Next I found, sorry if the lighting changed you guys, I was having natural lighting by the window, but the sun is starting to go down and set. So it's a little darker. Um, and I'm, I don't have my ring light on right now, so it's put away, so sorry about that. These really cool little mini hair bands, and um, this one's just by the Gimme brand, and I thought these were pretty cool. It comes in a reusable little seal pouch, and my girls, when they braid their hair, they're constantly wearing these small little um hair bands so i thought these were pretty cool they picked them up um the 500 pack uh the scunzi brand from walmart but um they still have some from the last pack so i thought i would pick these up i found some cool stuff you guys okay sticking with the hair stuff I did find these cute little bobby pins with the little poof ball on there so i got the purple and the blue it's like a dark blue and then I found the pink and the gray. And then I found the gray and the burgundy. And then I found the turquoise and the black. And this is what it looks like out of the package. They're just soft and furry, fuzzy. They're really cute. These are really cute for my girls. So I picked one up in each color. I found this really cool LOL large bow and it has a um, plastic LOL doll in the middle and it's like a looks like a jean material which I thought was really cool for my daughter because she likes bows so I got this for my daughter Maya who is seven I also got these pack of hair scrunchies by the gimme brand and it has a brown one it has a jean one it has this like corduroy nude colored one. It has a tie dye gray one and it also has a really pretty chiffon pink, baby pink one. It's kind of made out of this, out of this like really soft like leather type of material, which I thought is really cool. I also found this set, you guys, which this one says um, that they're little barrettes. So I got the strawberry one and I did get the cherry one and they're two piece set. And then to go along with the set, I found 
these um, scrunchies. So these are the only three that I saw. So we have the pink one and it has little strawberries on it. And then we have the blue one here and the blue and the blue one has little strawberries on it. And then we found the purple one. So these are the three that I found along with these cute little hair barrettes. I found this really beautiful, um, kind of like a silky material, um, hair scrunchie, and um, this would be really pretty to put in a ponytail. And this one has daisies on it, which daisies are my daughter's favorite flower. So I'm going to be giving this one to her. And then I also found a blue one that has really pretty daisies on it. And um, the black one is more of like a silk material. And this one is more of like a cloth material, really soft cloth. And so again, this would be really pretty with a ponytail and some like light blue jean shorts. And then I also found this really pretty scrunchie and it's like a, just like the other two. And this one is um, like a brownish nude and black little dots on it. And then as well, just a solid pink um, hair scrunchie. And then on the bottom, it is like a checkered. And then lastly, I found the black one, like the pink one. And it just has a black scrunchie with the black checkered. So these are the two that I found alike. So I picked up one of each. And lastly, for hair accessories, I found hair clips. And I really liked the reflect that this has. It's kind of like, um, like it looks like diamond almost like, but then once you get it like in the light or in the sun, it shifts these really pretty rainbow colors. I use them for my girls, which they're just really pretty, but there's those. So I did find this, they had different colors, but I just thought that this would be maybe a good color um, to use. This one says high pigment, high pigment metallic lip gloss. Now I usually don't use these lip glosses from the Dollar Tree. Um, I'll pick up like a chapstick every now and then or um, but I usually don't really pick up makeup from the Dollar Tree, but I did this time because they had some really cool finds. Um, I'm used to just using my Fenty lip gloss or my Tarte uh, Maracuja lip gloss. You guys, if you have not tried that, you should. It's really, really good. Um, it's just like a full coverage lip gloss, you guys, and it's just awesome. But I thought I would give this a try. Um, you know, they have some really cool gems at the Dollar Tree and you never know until you try them. So this one said, this one says taste the tropics metallic lip gloss and it's kind of just like a reflective pink color. And then sticking with the makeup, um, my daughter did tell me, my youngest daughter told me that she wanted me to get her some um, eyeshadow brushes. Now, I don't really let my kids wear makeup at all, like out. Um, the most that they can use is chapstick or lip gloss. But as far as eyeshadow or mascara or anything like that blush, I do not let them wear it. It's just a rule that I have and I probably, they won't be able to wear that kind of stuff until they're in their teens, like 13, 14. But for play at home, they like to dress up. They kind of like to mess around with makeup. I, I did buy them some, makeup from five below for Christmas, like a makeup palette set. And it came with lip gloss and lotion and that kind of thing. And so I found these cause my daughter has been asking for just her own set of makeup brushes and she keeps getting into my older daughter's makeup brushes. So I thought, you know what, these look pretty cool and just for playing around the house, you know, not going anywhere that they could use these just for fun. So I did pick up this one um, and it's just like a glittery glitter handle and then this one has a black glittery handle and they're small. They, they look to be like travel makeup brush makeup brushes but they're just going to use them for play. Heart Me Makeover Essentials Beauty Diary and I looked at this part and it looks really cool so it kind of just like opens up. It's like a box almost like a jewelry box 
but it opens up and it says that it has um, 10 eyeshadows, three lip colors, one bronzer, one highlighter, one blush, three applicators, mascara, eye and lip liner, puff applicator, fold out double-sided mirror. I just think that this was really cool for a dollar 25 for my girls to play with, play around with, like I said, at home only. And that that's pretty cool, which I've never seen before. I've never seen this brand anywhere. This is pretty cool because if anything, I could just use it for a mirror. But um, this one says that it has like um, six contour colors, applicator, tin case with mirror. So it's pretty heavy, you guys. And it says that it's a tin case, which is pretty good quality. Um, and so I'm really, really, really anal about Dollar Tree makeup, you guys, just because I want to know what I'm putting on my face. And to be honest, I've, I've, I mean, since I was younger, I've only, not to sound, not to sound any type of way, but I've really only used high-end makeup, um, from Ulta, from Sephora, um, um, you know, and, and name brand products because I want to know where my makeup's coming from. The Dollar Tree makeup, uh, it kind of sits there. You don't really know if it's expired. You don't know, you know, where these products are coming from. Um, so I prefer not to buy makeup products. Like I said, lip glosses and chapstick and stuff like that, that's okay. But as far as like foundation and bronzer and um, eyeshadow and stuff like that I would just prefer to use what I what I'm what I know which is my safe place my palettes my Morphe palettes my Tarte palettes you know um, benefit those type of um, name brands but this looks pretty cool and I thought I would give it a go you guys because it looks new it's never been opened um, and it doesn't say that it's cruelty free though um, but it just says www.makeoveressentials.com so I'm going to look more into the brand see what it's about but I thought it was pretty cool so I picked that up to give it a try and um, they had quite a few of these there and um, so I thought it was it was pretty cool of them to have this there okay sticking with makeup you guys I love red lipstick and they had quite a few different styles of these and my signature look is red lipstick so I this one's red they had pink they had like a clear one they had different color ones with different color prints and so I thought this was pretty cool I love the vintage packaging on here this is by the be pure brand so I know this is a Dollar Tree brand and this is a new product so I don't mind trying this out um, but how beautiful is this um, I also found something else really cool you guys pocket mirrors and I just love the vintage look I love the flowers on here so I found this one and this one's by the V and A, it looks like. Um, and this one's a, also a pocket mirror, but a different design. And then I also found this one. So I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what this looks like on the inside because I'm curious to know if the print on the outside is the print on the mirror. Oh, you guys, how beautiful is this mirror? beautiful it is like a faux leather it kind of feels like a, a leather material and really soft and this is the print oh you guys I am so glad that I picked this up so this mirror has um, a close-up mirror and then just a regular mirror which you guys this is really cool it has a mirror on both sides you guys, I'm so glad I found this. I can always use another purse mirror. Um, this is small enough and thin enough to throw in your purse, your book bag, your um, fanny pack, um, you know, your Lululemon fanny pack, whatever kind of bag you have. It's slim enough, small enough. This could even fit in your back pocket of your jeans. Really cute, you guys. Found this, um, they had a whole 
end cap floor display of this LA Colors. So they had lip glosses and eyeshadows and just all kinds of things. And so I thought this was really cool and I actually want to give this a try. This is three pops of color in one pot. So it looks like a highlight, a bronze, and like a rose gold. And it says that it's um, glow brush. And so I don't know if this is a highlighter. Oh, it's a bronzer. I'll probably see if I can use it as an eyeshadow because I like using um, things like multi-way. Like if it is like a bronzer, sometimes I like to use it for an eyeshadow and or you know put it on the inner corner as a little highlight so i want to give this a shot this is in the color brazen also on that la colors display um this one says nude glam and it's just some nude little colors and i thought um this one's in the color birthday suit and i really like that gold color there so i thought i would give that a shot and see if that works you never know you could be finding some really cool la color gems and the last makeup item that i picked up is this la colors glam lip mask and it's in watermelon now i'm a little skeptical on lip masks because i like them to actually like exfoliate my lips i don't really like them to um, or, you know, at least keep them moisturized. I don't like them when you just put them on and it kind of acts like a lip gloss in a way. I like them for actually to make your lips like moisturize and keep that moisture in there because sometimes that they'll dry out within like five minutes. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but I just like when a lip mask does its job or even an overnight mask, put it on before you go to sleep and you wake up and your lips are nice and plump and moisturized. Um, so yeah, I thought I would give this a try and see how this one works. I found these Diamond Cosmetic Fun File Triple Pack and everyone needs some pretty nail files in their life. So, you know, these will come in handy and um, I thought that since they're name brand, I would pick these up. So another little fun find, my older daughter was with me on one of these trips and so um, she kind of threw this in the basket. So this is a no touch key. I don't know how good this will be or how often she will use it, but she can throw it on her keys and you know, if she's in an elevator or somewhere where she doesn't want to like touch it, you can always just use this and then, you know, wipe it down, sanitize it after it's touched all the dirty surfaces. So this is a good little thing to have. I also got two of these. So this is a satin eye mask. This one says leave me alone and it's black with white writing and then this one is also a satin eye mask and it's gray with the little eyelashes and so um we I, I thought I would pick these up because we've had a couple of games or a couple of instances where we need like a blindfold or there's a surprise for somebody and I kind of want them to close their eyes or um, there was a game, but it didn't come with like any anything to, you know, close your eyes with. So we had to use just like a shirt or something we had laying around. So I thought these would be good and come in use when we need to cover someone's eyes or, you know, to play a game for something and you can't look or whatever the case may be. So I picked up two of these, so these should come in handy.